ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the ABC 3340 Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 1st of February. And boy, we had a great time last night at the kickoff of the Storm Alert Tour. Uh, despite a horrible night in terms of rain and cold and wind, a big crowd came out to Oak Grove High School. And uh, thanks to Dave Jones, who was in attendance for taking these pictures, uh, very powerful stories this year. And uh, we were glad to share those at Oak Grove, a school that was destroyed, their building destroyed by an F5 tornado 10 years ago. That's our focus story for this year. But again, thanks for all of you to come, uh, coming out last night. The next show will be next week in Anniston at the City Meeting Center at 7. Let's go to some Skycam shots early this morning, and we'll see where we stand. There's a look at the uh, view coming from uh, Birmingham. Our uh, camera there in downtown Birmingham, the Skycam site, measured a little over one inch of rain last night. I think about 1.20 was the total there on 20th Street. There's our Jasper Skycam up in Walker County. Boy, pretty quiet this morning, about 5 o'clock. And from Tuscaloosa, same deal, very little traffic at this insane hour of the day. What a trough rotating through here. Negative tilt. All of the rain and storms well to the east. The clearing process could be slow today. You know, it's what is one of the greatest mysteries of forecasting is clearing after a strong shortwave like that. Many times the clouds will stay in place all day. But we, there are times where you'll just see them roll out in a hurry. We'll go ahead and forecast a, a gradual clearing today. Uh, obviously, the better chance of a decent amount of sunshine will be west of I-65 today. The slower place to clear will be the northeastern corner. Temperature is, well, it's going to be a cool day today. Uh, we'll kind of sit in the 40s all day. We note we've got some uh, 30s down into the uh, northern part of the state. We'll forecast a high today in the upper 40s. And, of course, the, the high is, will be determined on how much sun we get. And look at the cold up in Canada. I see a 50 below zero up there in Saskatchewan. There's a lot of cold air. We'll watch that and see how it uh, does in coming weeks. Now, this graphic depicts the rain we had last night and the rain we will have Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. This is valid through Tuesday evening. And it's got a bullseye of about two and a half inches near Livingston, Alabama. And, uh, uh, again, it, this is a great pattern for rain here, and we sure need that. Uh, we'll review that uh, system next week as we go. And we, there's certainly some potential for severe weather. Now, the guys in Norman and SPC are showing a large risk area on day five. That's Tuesday of next week. That covers all of Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, the adjacent states, and that'll be kind of the event we focus on here in coming days. Uh, this is where we are today, and this is the OZ run. The um, 06 Z run was running a little slow this morning, so this is the OZ run valid at noon today at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. Trough rotating onto the east, the storm lifting out. Surface low uh, midday today should be somewhere near Columbus, Ohio. And uh, again, that wraparound moisture could keep the clouds around much of the day today for the northern third of the state at least. But tomorrow is going to be a beautiful day. We will uh, start the day off a little below freezing, but warm in a hurry. We'll be close to 60 tomorrow afternoon. And then Sunday, moisture begins to return, and the GFS has been varying on uh, how much rain we see Sunday. We'll mention the chance of showers by Sunday afternoon. This run still holding the better rains off to the uh, west. And then Monday, there's the problem. we got that big trough, southwest flow aloft here, and we will have a, an unstable air mass in place with this thing as opposed to the last two. Uh, we'll go down at the surface on Monday, and we got a good southerly flow here. The Gulf of Mexico should be wide open. And that would be a showery kind of day. And then Tuesday, the trough comes at us. Uh, it comes out uh, down across Texas and Oklahoma. At the uh, surface, the primary surface low on Tuesday is uh, developing near Memphis. And then we go to Tuesday night at midnight. That surface low moves rapidly up toward uh, Pittsburgh with a trailing band of showers and storms. So, again, the prime time for severe weather would be late Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday night, it looks like. And then Wednesday, uh, the weather cools down, a little bit of wraparound moisture, uh, windy and colder, much colder. I think we'll see a high only in the 40s on Wednesday after probably reaching 70 Tuesday. And then uh, Thursday of next week, the weather looks dry. And we'll just quickly peek out there at the end of the cycle. This is the 15th. Nice trough, nice rain event, but uh, we've seen so many looks out there trying to get specific systems down 
a long time in advance with this is very hard to do and quite frankly impossible to do. We're just peaking. But the bottom line is the pattern still looks active for the next uh, several weeks. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. That's alabamawx.com if you're watching this via YouTube or iTunes. And uh, the next video will be posted here by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.